my name is Michelle Lasastria. I'm a ceramic artist from the Gold Coast. And um, these are my pieces here. Uh, they're heavily 90s nostalgia inducing pieces. I started uh, a couple years ago, I started going out to workshops to learn um, hand building and a few other ceramic techniques. And it's just something that I've fallen in love with. Um, it was a different experience to my digital marketing that I'm used to kind of working in graphic design, working in social media. This is like a very tactile medium that I could um, get my hands dirty and I really fell in love with it. It was a little bit of a, um, an escape. I, a few years ago, went through a couple of workshops and um, it was kind of just as a way to explore creativity outside of the zones that I was used to and um, just the, the, the space, the amount of um, possibilities that ceramics has, the different techniques, the, um, yeah, the ceramics world is huge and I've barely scratched the surface. So going through workshops just really made me fall in love with the practice. Heavily 90s, <laughs> heavily 90s inspired material. I think uh, just anything fun like cartoons, um, you know, obviously Saved by the Bell, Rocco's Modern Life, you know, all the best ones, they're um, a running theme throughout my work, whether it's not copying those characters, but kind of drawing from that, that feeling and that um, time and place where you kind of feel like the world was like full of these possibilities and like anything was possible. So um, that, that's, that time and place and that feeling is a big um, inspiration for my work. This snake, this snake, she was um, actually the second version that I uh, made. The first one, there was a bit a few issues. So I think um, the fact that I've managed to merge this uh, 90s aesthetic into a snake is uh, quite a proud accomplishment of mine, as well as the technical skills that I had to learn and uh, explore to be able to create, create this piece to not only be sculptural, but to be functional. She's actually a vase, she's a fully functional vase. So um, I think I grew a lot and learned a lot through making that piece. So she's my favorite. Gak, chewy gak, uh, slightly chemical. Um, uh, she would be uh, dairy milk white chocolate, I think. And the screech over here would be some sort of like 90s pop rocks, I think. Definitely, I've always been a creative person. Which avenue that was going to be, I never did not know. Uh, I've been someone who always likes to try everything. You know, I've, I've um, done a graphic design degree. I worked with fashion and styling. You know, I wanted to be a singer for a small part of my life. But um, ceramics is something that I've really kind of like locked onto and fell in love with because there's just so much to explore with it and. I've barely even scratched the surface and I'm a couple of years deep. I think it's the thing that um, could really hold my attention, which is quite hard when it comes to creative practices because I'm just wanting to try everything, but this is something that I've really fallen in love with. So I hosted it, I was part of an exhibition earlier this year and I think that that's uh, definitely an avenue that I want to go down and explore further. The Australian and Gold Coast art scene is offering a lot of grants for emerging artists at the moment and I think that that's something that hasn't really been available before. So I really want to take advantage of that and um, really push my work to be both um, able to be in a, in, a, in a commerce section as well as like an art world, which is sometimes hard to kind of straddle the border of that, but that's um, I just enjoyed that exhibition experience and the reaction and the response that I got to my work, that that's definitely a world that I want to be part of. The idea of freedom, the idea of freedom and uh, putting that time that I used to put into my own, my old nine to five job where I was work for someone else, the idea of funneling that energy and all that time into something that's for you, it's just the best motivator. It's, it's varying and it's big that I, I draw influences from everywhere, but um, 
Keith Haring is probably the biggest influence in terms of big artists. Uh, coming from a graphic design background, I think I love the way the restraint um, in colour from the use of designers. I think that the colour combos that designers use is definitely um, an influence on the way that I kind of plan out a, a piece. Um, Kidia Palaskis, who is like a craft queen. She makes these insane uh, pinatas and like oversized pieces. Um, just everything has such a fun feel to it. So she'd be another influence of mine. Ultimate message I think is um, that re returning to play, that returning to freedom, that returning to that childlike nostalgia where again, the world seems full of possibilities and you know, everything just has that extra little shine and sparkle on it. I want that people who engage with my work to feel a little bit of that and to take a little bit of that, that home with them. Functionality is definitely important. It doesn't um, completely rule out something if it's not functional, but I would say that most of my pieces do have a functionality. I do like the, the process of blending something Fun, that nearly kind of looks like it's not functional. Like I, like I think with the, the cow and the snake, you probably wouldn't offhand know that it was a vase. I think that it's kind of like a little sneaky thing that until you see it in practice, you don't realize that it's functional. It's kind of like a disguised vase. I'll be hosting two workshops. Uh, one will be creating your own ceramic wall hanging. So you'll be able to kind of let your mind run wild with this one. You will be creating a tile in the shape of your choosing and then you can build, embellish, you'll be learning techniques of carving, graffito, um, and then we will um, also get you to add little attachments to it like tassels and stars and pom-poms and all these kind of things that will reattach after firing. So you'll be able to kind of um, create like a little tile of your choice to um, add to your abode. The second workshop that I'll be running is for all the plant lovers. It is a mini planter and again that the options are endless with that one. It can be a hanging planter, it can be um, you know, a round square, you know, tall planter, whatever you want, whatever little plant baby you have in mind for it, I can help you work through that. So we'll be learning pitch pop, pop techniques and um, yeah, scrapito again, embellishing, carving, you can have cutouts, you can have scalloped edge. It's very open, but you'll be able to create a truly unique, one-of-a-kind piece.